To solve this problem, we need three position vectors for each of the axes where we calculate the moment. Let's start off with a position vector from the x-axis to point B. We will assume a value of 1 for the i component. I'll come back to this later at the end of the question. To do that, we need to do a bit of trigonometry. Let's focus on this part first, which is this small triangle. The diagram for this question can be a bit confusing, almost giving the illusion that the angle at B is our right angle. However, this is not the case, as the side with the three feet is indeed our hypotenuse. A different view will make it even more clear. We can figure out the sides of the triangle using sine and cosine functions. The sine component gives us the height, which we will use for our k components, or in other words, the z length. Now let's look at the whole length as one big triangle with an angle of 60 degrees. From this triangle, we can figure out the y length. Now that we have the lengths, we can write down our j and k components. Next, let's write a position vector from the y-axis to point B. For this, we will assume a value of 1 for the j component. Using the x-length of the triangle gives us the i component, and the k component is the same as before. Lastly, we need a position vector from the z-axis to point B. For this part, we will need both sides of the triangle, so the x-length and the y-length, which are the i and j components. We will assume a value of 1 for the k component. We now need to express the weight of the flower pot as a force in Cartesian form. Since the weight is a force downwards in the z-axis, we can simply express it as negative 50k. Now we need to take triple scalar products for each axis. If you don't know how to do this, I've included a link to solving a triple scalar product step by step. For the x-axis, the unit vector is 1i plus 0j plus 0k. Using this, the position vector and the force, we can solve to find the moment created above the x-axis. The y-axis can be represented as a unit vector using 0i plus 1j plus 0k. Again, solving using the position vector for the y-axis and the force gives us the moment created above the y-axis. Lastly, the z-axis can be represented as a unit vector using 0i plus 0j plus 1k. Solving using the position vector for the z-axis and the force gives us the moment created above the z-axis. Remember how we assumed a value of 1 for each of the components corresponding to the position vector of each axis? So we assumed a value of 1i for the x-axis position vector, and so forth. The value actually doesn't make a difference since it cancels out when we do the triple scalar product. I hope this helped, and if it did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks.